In the world of physics, there are fundamental forces, often described as action at a distance forces. Gravity, electrical force, magnetic force, the strong and weak nuclear forces. There are also non-fundamental forces, called contact forces. Friction, tension, the normal force, applied force, air resistance, and spring force. A force is any push or pull that causes an object to undergo change, either concerning its movement, direction, or geometrical construction. Force has both a magnitude and a direction in space, making it a vector quantity, and measured in newtons, the unit of measure for a force. As mentioned, the normal force is a contact force, with the word normal getting its special meaning from the world of mathematics. An object such as a line or vector is called a normal to another object if they are perpendicular to each other. To help you remember what the normal force is, think of it as the perpendicular contact force. Any time a surface and an object are interacting at right angles, you will find the normal force in action. To illustrate the normal force, let's look at a box at rest on a flat surface. There are two forces that act on the box, both of which have a magnitude and a direction. The first is gravity, a force vector like the normal force. A more common name for the effect of gravity on an object is weight. The gravity vector at the surface of our planet pulls objects down toward the center of the Earth. That's the direction, but what is the magnitude? Weight, the gravity vector, equals mass times gravity. If we know how much mass an object has, we can multiply it by the force of gravity at the Earth's surface to get the result. In the case of a 100 kilogram box, the force pushing down upon the resting surface is 978 newtons. The second force acting on the box is the normal force, the perpendicular contact force. The magnitude of the normal vector is equal to, but in the opposite direction, of the gravity vector. The two force vectors cancel each other out, creating a balance of forces that keeps the object at rest 